Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southern's cooking back at you today with another video. Alright, today we're gonna be doing something a little different here today. Wash my hands right quick. What we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing some mustard fried pork chops. We also gonna be doing uh warming up the cabbage and fried cabbage that I cooked yesterday in the cornbread, but I also got to cook some more rice, so we're gonna also gonna have that in the video as well. And I'm also talking to all my subscribers. If you have a friend, please tell them about my channel. Have them subscribe to the channel. I'm stuck at 929, seem like I ain't moving, so I'm gonna start doing something a little different on my video. To uh, so can I bring in more subscribers? But I need my subscribers' help, please. What? We got here, we got some fresh pork chops right here. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put these pork chops here into the mixture here. Or into the pan, it's into this other pan here. And what we're going to also do, we're going to also blend our, our season with onion powder, garlic powder, and chicken bouillon. So what we're going to do, we're going to put about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder in here because it's a teaspoon in there and we're going to put a half a teaspoon of onion powder and we're going to put one tablespoon of chicken bouillon in here okay that's about it and what we're going to also do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a little mustard. Mustard to this uh, pork chop as well. And we're going to get in here with our hands and we're going to blend it all up well. So what we're going to also do as well, we're going to add a little season over here into our flour. But we're going to put an onion powder. Make sure I get the right one. This is the onion powder. We're going to put onion powder, another teaspoon of onion powder into the uh, flour. We ain't going to put no more garlic powder into that because the garlic powder kind of strong. And we're going to put just a, about a, a half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon into the flour mixture. That's what we're going to do. Since we touched all that down, we're going to rinse our hands off again. Then we're going to dive in there. And mix that on up. Mix that season up right there. Hope everybody's doing fine today. So we're going to go ahead and mix this season up right here. Poke chop. Let it blend up real well. And that's what we got right there. That's what we got right there, y'all. So we're gonna rinse our hands off again. Rinse our hands off again. And we also gonna be frying. You remember when I cooked the ham and I took the skin off the ham and I said I was gonna deep fry them. See, can I make me some crackers? So this is what we got here. We're gonna fry these here after we do the pork chop. We're gonna see how these gonna come out. I said I was going to do them. So, that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to see, can we have us some late night snacks? Late on. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to get our spatula, our mixer, and we're going to go ahead and mix this seasoning up in this, in this flour as well. And we're going to set that back over there. Now we're going over here to the other side. Right quick, I'm finna put my rice in my, uh, and warm my cabbage up. Okay, I have my cabbage that I cooked yesterday. My fried cabbage, we're gonna put it in, put it in the pot here, and we're gonna turn it on low. And we're gonna let this in warm up as well. This is what I cooked yesterday. We're going to turn that on 
medium. And we also got us a cup of rice here as well. For every cup of rice, you want to use two cups of water. So we got two cups of water we're going to go ahead and put into our rice. If you use two cups of rice, you want to put four cups of water. So we're going to go ahead and turn that stove on there. Then we're going to go out here and turn our fry on. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get this in the cooking on this side. And we got some cornbread that, that we had cooked yesterday too. So we're going to take that out and warm it up as well. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and Mix our pork chop, chop in our flour. Braid it up real good. We're gonna sit it on our sheet. Just sit it here on our sheet. And let that flour soak in. And when our fry get hot out there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump these pork chops in. Get it coated real good. Some nice thin looking pork chops here. I like the ones with the bones in it. I don't like pork chop without the bone. Over here. I knew I had five. Looked like I only had four. I knew I had five. They were stuck together. Just like that though, we laying them aside just like that though. Just like that though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got that set up. Now we get a little situated here, clean up a little bit here. All right, we got our cabbage coming along. Warming up pretty good. I don't want to warm up too fast. For everything to be warmed about it. I want the pork chop and everything else to be cooked too. But it's all right, I can just leave it on simmer. Medium low, or low. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we are here to the fry. Our grease is inside on 350, and it's hot. So we're gonna go ahead and drop us one of these pork chops in. We're gonna drop another in. I'm gonna just do two at a time because I don't want them, because they are normally stick if you put them on top of each other. Go ahead here and get me a spoon for that pork right quick. Yeah, they'll normally stick if you put them on top of each other. So I can go ahead and get my nut in there. So we're gonna let these them fry up. All right, ladies and gentlemen. First batch is finna come out to fry. reason we got this paper towel on down here to help soak up some of the grease. Set your meat on the paper towel. If you don't have, unless you have one of them grease racks, or you can set it on, on a rack and they have a, a like a drip pan up under. But I don't have one of them, so I'm doing what I used to see my mother do. So those are the ones we taking out the fryer right here. So we got, we got two more to put in the fryer. Two in here, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do our skins. We're gonna see how these skins gonna turn out as well. Somebody said they want to see me do it. Fry them skin, cause I mentioned that I was gonna do that. 
they left a comment saying they want to see me frown. So I got to sh show you frown and see what they're going to look like, turn out to be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the last two finna come out the fryer. That's two coming out the fryer. And what we gonna do now, this is what they looking like now. That's what they looking like. What we gonna do now, we gonna sit this on the side. We gonna drop these skins off in here. And we're gonna see what's gonna happen with this right here. See how long that's got they got the fry. Gonna see what them right there gonna do. See what it do. We gonna see what it do. Yes, uh, we gonna let them frown up. We gonna go on back in the house with the rest of this stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we gonna take these skins out right here. We gonna know what the results are. We'll find out later when when they dry. But I'm gonna show them to you. I'm gonna show them how you, how they look better than what they is, you know, than me taking them out of here where you can't see them yet. Get them out of here first. We're gonna see what we got going on. Go in here and fix a plate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're fixing our plate now. And uh, pork chop came out looking real great. Came out looking real good. And our skins, this is how our skins came out. This is what our skins came out to look like. This is what they look like. So I'm gonna let them sit there and get hard. I just took them out the fryer. I'm gonna see what they're gonna taste like later on. This is gonna be my late night snack. So I ain't worried about them right now. But I did frown. But I don't know how. Well, let me go ahead and taste one now. As a matter of fact, it's got a crunch to it. It tastes good. Sure do. Hmm. Okay then. I don't see why they shouldn't have because pork skin ain't nothing but the fat, the skin of of a, of a pig anyway. And that's what that is. Pig skin. So they they pretty good. Glad I didn't throw that away. So I'm gonna go ahead and put me a piece of my cake on my my what I cooked yesterday. Hope, stay tuned. Cut me up the light. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we eating today. This is what we're eating today. We got a piece of cake. We got our pork chop, mustard fried pork chop, cabbage and fried cabbage and rice and some cornbread. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need all my subscribers. Tell a friend to subscribe to my channel, please. I'm stuck at 829. I'm at least trying to get a thousand subscribers. If you can help me out, I sure appreciate it. Everybody have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. And peace.